I'm going to get a lot of fucking shit for this. I already know it. I already can see it. But 52 blocks, I want to like it a lot more than I actually do. Why? Because it's a goofy fucking system. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah, yeah. better move out the way because I'm coming with hard it hits. My head is as hard as a brick, but I'm harder than hard it is. You better move, you might get knocked out. All right, let's let the fucking shit storm begin here. 52 hand blocks, prison fighting system. Um, I want to like this system a lot more than I actually do. Obviously, it's primarily taught and was allegedly founded around the East Coast in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn area, region, right? That, that area. This is where I originally learned how to fight. Now, I didn't grow up there, obviously, but I did learn uh, martial arts, street martial arts, DAS, from Garnett Stroger, who lived in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. So this whole culture is actually very dear to my heart. And these guys can fight. Believe me, they can fight. They grew up beating the shit out of each other on the streets and, you know, honestly solving arguments with their fists. Boxing is a huge thing for them. That's the way I originally came up. That's my base. Dirty street boxing. But 52 blocks seems like a mix of dirty street boxing and kung fu, which actually makes a lot of sense because I can tell you firsthand, these cats on the Lower East Side love kung fu. I don't know why, because it's not the most practical system, but they just have an obsession with kung fu. Shaolin kung fu, the Wing Chun to a certain degree, all of the kung fu's, they fucking love it. Um, and again, you can see that in the 52 block system. Now, there's some techniques here that are probably very effective, such as the famous ones, skull and bone, right? That's the famous one. Um, and then you've got catch the bullet, boom, like this, right? So it's elbow destruction from Kali mixed with a uh, old school boxing parry, right? You're going to parry it and destroy the person's fist with your elbow. Uh, can it work? Sure. Is that an old school dirty boxing technique? Yeah, it is. Mixed with a little bit of Kali or, you know, whatever else you want to, you know, accredit that technique to, right? Um, you've got roll the dice, which is basically kind of a, a rolling punch from Wing Chun or something like that mixed with kind of walking it up the person's arm. It's It's an interesting series of techniques they have. Now, what is with the 52, all right? So allegedly... The guys would be in their cell or whatever in the in the day room, and they would throw down a deck of 52 cards, and whatever number came up was the number of the technique that you're supposed to like practice, right? So if you got a two, that was like one, two. If you got a 10, that was whatever, you know, number 10 technique, 10 block, whatever, something like that. We don't know a whole, whole lot about it because its oral history was passed down from player to player to player, and we just don't know that much about it. Uh, but we do know that there is kind of a lineage here and there's still guys teaching it. And that's actually becoming fairly popular at this point. Why? Because number one, they did a fairly good job marketing it on YouTube. There's some old school videos that probably everybody's seen with some of these old cats that were teaching it to some of the new cats. And then it's kind of grown in popularity from there. In fact, I had Warren from Renegade 52 Blocks out of Atlanta, Georgia, on my podcast, I believe it was last year. We had a great conversation. I highly recommend that you check it out if you're interested in 52 blocks. But what do I actually think about the system? Well, I've never trained in it. I've never trained in it. I researched it more on YouTube before I made this video. And by the way, um, John Bella, bro, you wanted to know about this. So here's my opinion um, to answer your comment. This is my opinion on 52 blocks. It's kind of goofy. It's Dirty boxing mixed with kung fu basically is what it looks like. You've got techniques where you do you're doing spinning back elbows like a muay thai type thing. You've got it looks like this where you're coming like this. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that style definitely has merit. Definitely can work. My whole thing is when you're trying to teach this to somebody else who doesn't have a lot of experience in boxing and fighting. It can be a bit unstable, it looks like. There's weird techniques where you're putting all your weight on your back foot, like for the skull and bones, but you keep your front foot really kind of partially elevated. And, and there's just, there's a lot to it that just reeks of like, 
fucking mixing and matching different arts that don't really go together all that well. I've seen some videos of it used like in the subway in Manhattan and stuff. And some of the sparring videos they put out, it really looks a lot more like boxing than anything else, which I'm a huge fan of. We all know I freaking love dirty boxing. Like I said, it was my base. That's what I originally learned when I was learning from Garnet again, Garnet Stroger, Lower East Side of Manhattan, Deadly Art of Survival. The base was boxing. That's what I started with originally. And I think that that's what everybody should start with. So that's what I like about the system. It's got a lot of really good boxing techniques, slipping, ducking, rolling, all that stuff, right? We know how effective this is. But then when you mix it with some of this other stuff, you know, you've got like the peekaboo, which is cool, but then you've got this stuff and you've got this stuff. And it's just like, I don't know, man. It's it's a little bit too goofy for me. Um, I could go probably. I still have a lot of boys down in in Manhattan and in, in Jersey. And I could probably go and spend a couple of months if I really wanted to and, and learn the system. I could probably stay with somebody or get a cheap hotel room. And, you know, as you guys know, I moved out West from, uh, from the East coast about a year ago. Uh, and I'm glad I did, but I don't know, man, I don't even know if I'm ever going to do that. It would probably be fun to study, but the system just seems a little bit goofy. That's my opinion of it. Now, again, full disclosure, never trained in it. Some guys are probably going to come on here and say, oh, well, but you don't know the true aspects of 52 blocks, this and that. Well, then, all right. Well, then let teach me. I'll come and we'll, we'll train in it. And if that's what you want to do, if you want to show me 52 blocks, I'd be glad to come and train with you in it for a week, two weeks, whatever. As long as it takes for me to like really kind of get an idea of the system, I'd be glad to do it. So that's the caveat I'm going to put out here. Uh, I really want to like this system. It seems like, obviously, a, fit, a prison fighting system seems like it should work, right? Obviously. So um, I'd love to give it a chance, but from whatever, everything that I have seen personally on YouTube, uh, it just seems fucking goofy. And there's my opinion. John, hope you found that useful. Hope everybody else out there got something good out of this, but uh, I wish I could have given it a better review, but just from my initial impressions of it, not great. Hopefully, I can train in it one day. And maybe I'll get a different impression. Until next time, guys, please remember that you were your first and last line of defense. And I'll see you in one of the next videos.